I love it. So my favorite thing about Armani Code is the whole collection is like really sophisticated. There's always a sexiness to Armani Code. So I really wanted to try this one just to see if it was sort of on a similar line. I really like the magnetic lid on this and it feels really heavy and premium. The actual scent itself, there's like tonka bean and cedarwood in the, in the dry down, which is what appealed to me. And it's got like a really, really sexy creaminess to it. There's also like iris in the heart as well, which is something that's a bit different, I think, for um, Armani Code. So another thing that drew me to this was I know the nose behind the fragrance is Antoine and he's done lots of other things that I've tried in the past. There's lots of Etat Libre d'Orange that he's worked on. I know he worked on with other fragrance noses as well on Mont Blanc Explorer and that's one of my absolute favourites. And I definitely think this holds up against those. In my personal opinion, I think it's more of an oriental fragrance, but I think that's just because I love it so much, I want it to be an oriental. I think when you first spray it, it's definitely fresher than the other Armani codes that I've tried. But I also think that there's a lot more going on in the background. I think there's, there's with the powderiness of the iris in the middle, followed by the tonka bean, it's quite unexpected. I wore this on date night with my partner. We went to a lovely Mexican restaurant and I could definitely still smell it when I got home. So I would say at least six hours. Before we went out, I sprayed this in my house and my housemate's girlfriend came in and she was actually in a different room. So she'd walk through the hallway and was like, oh my God, what's that smell? And then came into the lounge and obviously I explained it was my new Armani Code Parfum. So it's definitely got maybe not a massive sillage, but people notice it if they walk through it. This is definitely night fragrance. This does smell similar to another fragrance and it's actually one I have in my collection at home, which is Yoke. Some of you might know it's Dupe, Absolute. And it's also actually by the same perfumer. So if you like that, you'll love this. I love this fragrance. For me, it's such a comforting smell. Maybe that's because my mum has always worn Armani Code for her. And I think in the past as well, my dad has also worn the men's version. So for me, it's just a really warm, cozy, comforting scent. Very familiar, makes me feel at home. So I've really enjoyed spraying this. I would say that despite this being marketed as a men's fragrance, to me, it's quite unisex and I think that might be because of the iris note which I don't think is traditionally found in many men's fragrances but despite how much I love this and how much I would love to keep it I think because of how warm and fuzzy it's made me feel I think I want to gift this to my parents and they can share it because I think that's a real testament to how unisex it is and I think they'll both enjoy it and I think it'll be a really nice gift for the two of them. This lasted a fair amount of time on me I would say. I think to really notice it a good you know six seven hours later I would have to really like bring my wrist close to where I've sprayed it to be able to smell it but I would say that it stuck to clothes a lot more than it did to skin so I could still smell it on my clothes for much longer than that. Amani really impressed me this time. The smell itself is just outstanding. Quite a seductive smell as well, but it's not too overpowering. What I loved most about it was the bottle itself because it's like a rectangular circle shape and that's a bit unique, especially with the refills that you can do on the other sizes of the Armani. The bottle itself is just pretty awesome. And the smell itself really, really surprised me in such a good way. And I would highly recommend Armani for perfume. No, I'd, I'd say it's a lingering smell. It does sort of fill the room after a while, but it's not so powerful that as soon as you spray it, you would smell it on the other side of the room. It does last as well fairly long time, so it's between six to eight hours for the smell itself. It smells a bit like the Ralph Lauren Club. A bit of Dior is in there as well. It's quite a masculine smell, so all the masculine aftershaves sort of tend to mix together, but this does stand out as Armani. You can say it's a distinctive smell. It's not a copy, it's not a replica. It's got its own smell to it. Absolutely blown away with this one this time. This has been great. I absolutely love this fragrance. It looks luxury as well compared to the other code fragrances. It smells more spicier, which I absolutely love. And it says it does last for eight hours, which it does for me. Usually when I spray a fragrance, other people can smell it and I don't, but with this, I can actually smell it on my skin and it does last throughout the day, so I don't have to spray again.